Tasmania, a jewel 200 kilometers south of the mainland, is shrouded in the myth of isolation and emptiness. But why does nobody live here? Is it a desolate wasteland or a hidden paradise for modern-day hermits? In this video, we will discover the truth behind Tasmania being partially empty. So, stick around to discover why Tasmania is a lonely exile. Before we get into factors contributing to Tasmania's shrunk population, let's first get into its hundreds of years-long history. Australia is usually thought of as being in the Anglosphere. Its history starts with the British Empire colonizing it in the late 1700s. Still, long before this time, the Aboriginal people of Australia had created what is now known as the world's oldest continuous culture. The signs of their existence are going back at least 65,000 years. Their communities grew and thrived in Australia's multiple landscapes, creating rich languages, cultures, and deep ties to the land. However, when colonization did happen, it brought some significant changes, as we have seen worldwide. The first major change was in 1788, when European settlers who were representing the British Empire founded the penal colony in the area that would later become New South Wales. It started a new chapter in a long and terrible history of displacement and warfare between the British Empire and the Aboriginals, as well as the introduction of foreign species and diseases to which the indigenous population lacked immunity. Forced labor, brutality, and cultural devastation for the Palawa people were common in those days. In many ways, Australia's history is similar to those of other American, North American, and African continents. The discovery of gold, the growth of agricultural enterprises, and the expansion of European settlements all contributed to an increase in the flow of products back to England. The social and economic landscape was transformed by the population increase and economic success of the gold rush in the 1850s. With the reunification of the colonies into a single commonwealth, Australia formally united in 1901 and became a federated nation. However, they didn't become independent from the UK until 1986. Now, coming to its geography. Still, it is Australia's smallest state, but it's like a tiny version of the whole country, with its own story molded by a combination of commonalities and geographical differences. Tasmania is a striking island off the southern coast of Australia, separated from the mainland by the formidable Bass Strait. It is known for its varied ecosystems, wildness, and untamed beauty. Despite being slightly smaller than the United States of America, the island of Tasmania is larger than Sri Lanka and Florida combined, making it the 26th most oversized island in the world. In stark contrast to the mostly flat topography of the mainland, the island's middle and western parts are characterized by mountainous terrain. The central highlands and the wild west coast range rule the roost, part of the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area. Think ancient rainforests and alpine areas. The top dog here is Mount Osa, reaching 5,305 feet, but it's not Australia's tallest. That honor goes to Mount Kosciuszko in New South Wales. Regarding climate, Tasmania stands out because it has a temperate maritime climate, which is different from the mostly dry and semi-dry climates on the mainland. It leads to cooler temperatures, more rain, and a lush landscape that differs greatly from most of Australia. In particular, the west coast of Tasmania is known for having a lot of rain, which makes for lush jungles. On the other hand, the east coast is drier and sunnier, which is especially good for farming. Tasmania's particular flora and wildlife have evolved due to the island's unique isolation from the mainland. The island's abundance of rare and endangered species, like the Tasmanian devil, has gained international recognition. Also, rare and unusual tree species, such as the Huon pine, can be found in the temperate rainforests of Australia. Some of these trees are among the world's oldest. So, the question comes, why nobody lives in Tasmania? Despite the island's stunning natural beauty, several factors contribute to Tasmania's smaller population relative to the mainland. 
Some reasons for the migration trend to the mainland are a history of relying on resource-intensive industries and less developed technology and industrial sectors. Therefore, minimal job opportunities force people to migrate out of Tasmania. The economic climate in Tasmania is another major factor for people choosing to live and settle down outside Tasmania. Australian cities like Melbourne and Sydney are becoming economic powerhouses, creating a lot of job possibilities. These metropolitan hubs, thriving with industrial and technological development, starkly contrast Tasmania's more limited economic base. Tasmania's economy has historically been based on resource-intensive businesses like farming and mining, so it has seen less industrial or technological change than other mainland states. This difference in economic status affects migration trends, with many people looking for work, moving to the mainland. Along with these problems, Tasmania's climate and remote location make it hard to draw more people. In stark contrast to much of mainland Australia, which is warmer and sunnier, the island's temperature is cooler and rainier. Some might like this climate, but people who could live in warmer places have generally been less interested in moving there. Being an island separated from the mainland by the Bass Strait adds another isolation layer. This geographic separation affects the ease of travel and transport, making Tasmania more secluded. Although only 200 miles south of Melbourne, Tasmania's largest city, Hobart, is situated on the far southern side of the island, contributing to the overall sense of isolation. Education and infrastructure also factor into the decision-making process. But how? Major cities like Melbourne and Sydney boast top universities and cultural institutions, drawing students and academics globally. While Tasmania's educational offerings are expanding, they need to match the extensive options available in larger cities. In terms of infrastructure, although Tasmania has seen improvements, it still lags behind larger cities, especially in transportation and healthcare facilities. Between 2.6 million and 5.3 million people live in Australia's three biggest cities, Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. Tasmania's biggest city, Hobart, has only 253,000 people. This difference in population shows how many things affect a person's choice of where to live. One of the major reasons Tasmania doesn't see a surge in its population is its strategic geographical location in one of the windiest regions globally, the Roaring Forties. What causes this weather phenomenon? With strong westerly winds covering latitudes of 40 degrees to 50 degrees south in the southern hemisphere, the Roaring Forties are a unique feature of Earth's atmospheric circulation. Tasmania is right in the path of these winds, which greatly affect its weather, environment, and even way of life. These winds, a result of the temperature differences between the equator and the poles, are intensified by Earth's rotation. The lack of major land masses in the southern hemisphere at these latitudes allows the Roaring Forties to sweep across the ocean with minimal interruption, picking up both speed and moisture along their journey. Even though these winds make it hard to navigate and live near the coast, they have been used to make renewable energy. The Roaring Forties made Tasmania the perfect place for wind farms, a big part of the state becoming 100% green energy by early 2024. Because of its unique geography, Tasmania is a leader in producing energy in a way that doesn't harm the environment. Even with all of these benefits, Tasmania is often forgotten worldwide and even in Australia. On the other hand, its unique environment is appealing, especially as the world warms up. Although Tasmania is small, it has an essential role in shaping Australia's future.